Hey what's poppin' guys, Sizzle here, and this is gonna be a video explaining how to play Revolution mod patches on Dolphin, the emulator. Uh, it's gonna assume that you have nothing set up, and we're gonna set it all up in this video from scratch, with the exception of game files. I'm not gonna show you how to get your own game backups, you can look up on the internet how to get your own game backups, downloading ROMs of WBFS or ISO files off the internet can be done, but it is illegal. Uh, I mean, it, it would work, hypothetically, if you were to do it, but it is against the law and I will not be showing you how to do that type of stuff. Uh, instead, you should back up your games using your Wii, and I'm going to assume that that's what you're going to be doing, and we're going to kind of go on with that from here. Uh, so first off, you want to you know, download Dolphin, which will be linked in the description, get the most recent version for whatever uh, system you're on, which is either Mac OS, Android, or if you're on Windows, get Windows X64. Uh, and you also need 7-zip if you don't already have it, which I will also link in the description. You just want to get the 64-bit exe file, uh, download it and run it, and it will install 7-zip to your system. And then obviously you need whatever revolution mod or mod pack that you want. So in my case, I'm going to be using Mario Kart Midnight as kind of the demonstration for this, as you can see right here. So first off, you have to extract Dolphin. So right click, 7-zip, and then extract to Dolphin Master, or whatever you know, the full thing is. And then in Dolphin Master, open that up. You'll have a folder called Dolphin X64. In there, you will have all the actual, you know, half of the Dolphin files that you start with. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, hit new, I hit text document, call it portable.txt, and leave it in this folder. What this will do is it'll take all the other half of the Dolphin folders that they normally keep hidden and are super annoying to find that we're going to need to access for this. And it'll actually just store them in this area in the Dolphin X64 folder so they're much easier to find and transfer around. Uh, I honestly don't know why this is the default for Dolphin, but it's not. So you have to add this portable TXC file. Uh, from here, double click Dolphin to go boot it up. And uh, you do want to allow usage stat reporting so that the Dolphin emulator can become better. Uh, from here, double click the main area and you'll be asked to select uh, where you have your ROM stored. In my case, my current ROM I'm using for this demonstration is on my desktop. So I'm going to go select my desktop and there you go. You can already see Mario Kart Wii. And from here, if I were to double click the game Mario Kart Wii that I have backed up will actually boot and just play already. So this is all you have to do to get Wii games to play. But now I'm going to go show you the difference uh, of what you have to do to kind of actually get mods up and running. But first I'm going to you know, boot this up so you make a save file. Because this isn't using my, my normal Wii's NAND, so I don't have any normal uh, Mii's or anything like that. You can see, there you go. Right, we got our save file and all that set up. And you can see mine's Wimphy patch, because uh, why not? Alright, now that uh, we have our game and all that, in here, we're gonna go to configure Dolphin real quick. So go to configure, change anything here that you need to change. Most people want to change anything. Theme, pick what theme you like. I like the blue buttons over the normal ones. That's what I do. I also like setting it to dark mode because I think that's neat. Uh, audio, 100% is way too loud for me. I normally do about 50 or even lower than that, uh, depending on the game and my current audio settings. Uh, paths here, when we double clicked, this is where we added our game folder. If you have ROMs in multiple different folders, you have to hit the add button and add them in here. Or you could hit search subfolders and it will search the folders in the folders until it finds everything. Uh, generally just keep them all in one place though, it's much easier to handle that way. GameCube and Wii, we don't have to change anything. And advanced, we just want to hit enable MMU. Not exactly sure what this does, but I heard it helps a lot with these mods. Uh, then from here, we're going to go open the graphics menu, change your backend either to Vulkan if you uh, don't exactly know what you want to use, or for people that are on Windows computers specifically, Direct3D should probably be your best option, uh, then do VSync, and Hybrid Uber Shaders. Uh, under Enhancements, you can change the resolution to be higher if you want that. I normally do 1080p, I think it looks quite nice. I also do arbitrary map, map detection and per pixel lighting. Uh, everything else you just leave as is. Back, uh, I, I don't change anything here. And in advanced, we do load custom textures and prefetch custom, pre custom textures as these are essential to change to get a lot of these revolution mods to actually work. 
Uh, from there, we can close and it will have all of our stuff saved. If you actually have a controller, you should set it up here. Uh, because I'm just showing that the mods will work, I don't actually have to do that right now. But you just do controller and either GameCube or Wii Remote, you can configure them here. Or if you have a normal uh, Wii Remote, you can also scan for them manually that way. Uh, now that we're done with all that, we're going to go drag in our mods. So let's go back to our main download folder. Let's take our mod 7-zip extract. And that will take a second, because as you can see, this is a 4 gigabyte file. So I will go cut to when that's ready. Alright, looks like our Revolution mod is ready. So we're going to go into here. We're going to go into here, and you can see there are two folders here. Uh, I believe the only one we need is Midnight V1.4, or whatever your mod is called. There will be a Revolution folder as well. Uh, and actually, we want that as well. I, I, I'd lie. We want both of these. Uh, they're both essential to grab. Right click, copy, go back, go to your Dolphin folder, Dolphin X64. There should now be a user folder, and then we've ran Dolphin before. Go to user, go to load, go to revolution, and paste in those folders just as they are. And then, yeah, uh, from here, it's pretty simple. We go back into Dolphin, right click Mario Kart Wii. It start with revolution patches or not Mario Kart Wii, it could be any game. For me, that's the one I'm using, but you have a different game with a different mod. Right click that game, start with patches. In my case, you can you can see the menu right here. This is what you would see in seat uh revolution. This is what you would see in revolution. You go enable the things I generally like to enable for this, uh, which is faster menus and the midnight thing. Uh and yeah. From here, you can either just hit start to start it right away, or a really cool feature is you can hit save as preset. And from here, you can name it whatever you want. So in my case, I'm gonna call mine MK Midnight. Hit save. And you can see it's now up here on the menu. There's also a folder called MK Midnight.json on my main desktop. And I th either I could hit start here to start it, or with this exact set of settings, it's now stored in this file, which I can boot directly by just double clicking. And you can see, right, it's loading up. And it will look a little bit different because it's Mario Kart Midnight now. And you guys won't hear the audio because I didn't set that up. Uh, but there is also custom audio and, and everything as well. And uh, yeah, this is how you get pretty much any Revolution mod to work, I think, except for a CTGP. I believe that one requires a few extra steps, and people have made specific videos for that stuff. You can see right here, if I go into like single player, time trials, I didn't do it right. I clicked Mario Kart Wii. That's a, that's a mistake. You actually want to hit the one that you just made. So in my case, MK Midnight, I want to double click that one. And now the game will look different. <laughs> Didn't look different a second ago, but but now it should be fine. There you go. You can see a different title screen. We got all our stuff. We got the fast menus going super quick, super speedy. We got like time trials. We got all our characters. All right. We got all this you know crazy stuff going on. And uh, yeah, that is how you set this stuff up. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments that aren't around getting the actual game files. I'm, like I said, not helping with that. That is illegal. But if you have any questions with trying to get Revolution to work or any kind of problems you're running into, please leave it in the comments below. I will try to help. I'm not the most knowledgeable on this. I won't be able to help with everything, but I will try to help you out uh, to the best of my abilities. And with that being said, hope you all enjoyed and found this useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.